This is the second qualifying race at the 2022 Tough Like Roar. If you haven't seen race one, go check it out first. Not a great jump off the start, but this time I didn't fall, so that's improvement. The second race is just one lap on an eight mile course. So there's no second lap to redeem yourself. Getting here, we started getting into some rocks. Whoa, almost nose dived. I'm coming up this washout and I stall it. It happens to the best of us. I should just edit out my stalls. The starting order is the same as the first race, so I expect and I know that there's going to be riders coming up from behind. And with that in mind, when I hear somebody, I just have to hold my line. I'm going to try not to block anybody, but I'm not going to stop. I got to keep going myself. So just holding the line. Here goes Ryder LeBlanc. Whoa, I'm going that way. And David Knight makes the pass on me. uphill in this washout so I'm sticking to the left because I know everyone's behind me there goes Pat Smaji Keith Curtis comes ripping up through here that right line looks pretty good that's Chance Baker in front of me I'm coming up oh oh hung up I hear bikes revving behind me I may have caused a little blockage there but you know what there was a clean path around me and you can go around I sound like a vet rider, you know the guys that just won't get out of the way in the race? There goes James Flynn. Not dissing the vet riders, I'm just saying, some of you guys are old school, you're just like, no, you're not going around me, and they just block the trail. It's okay, it's racing. Figure it out. All right, so I'm navigating the, the wildness out here. It's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking next year, I might have to slow down my sign-up time. Being on the front row, I'm checking over my shoulder. I'm worried I'm holding up like, you know, the top dogs. And I'd rather be the one doing the chasing than to be getting ran over out here. So, oh, rider down. But I don't know. It also helps push me a little bit and go a little faster. So there's two sides to it. Although I think the real thing I should do is probably get as fast or faster than like Ryder LeBlanc who won today so that way I don't even have to worry about anyone passing me maybe that's what I should work on Jackson Davis Nick Farringer working their way in we're coming into some rocks I love this section this is one of my favorites Gotta hop up some of these rocks. Whoa, it gets a little congested in this corner here. Come on, there we go. When I come around this corner, I see Tristan Hart coming, so I take this left line to give him a inside line here to get around me. But from my observation, when he goes by, he's taking it easy. Like he's not on the gas, he's very smooth, he's very calm. 
and it's a good strategy. It looks to me like he's saving some energy for the main event. Or he's purposely going slow so he could be in this video. I doubt that. But he just needs a top 10 finish so he starts on the first row in the main event. So it's a good strategy. Save some energy, be on the first row. Oh, someone's yelling behind me. I hear him, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go to the left here, so I get over, I look back, nobody's there, they're off the trail, I, I couldn't exactly see what happened, I don't know if they tried a line and got themselves in some trouble. This is where you just gotta kinda run your pace, stay in your line, they're yelling again, so I just gotta find a good spot, right here's a good spot. The track goes uphill and we start going towards heaven, which is at the very top of this mountain. And so these climbs, you just gotta keep it rolling, stand up, and ride over a lot of these loose rocks. I'm on this right line, and Ezra Prine makes the pass. And then he hits a tree, dude! What the heck? He had it! And then he hit the tree. So, here's the part you don't want to mess up. <laughs> Sigh relief to get up that. Now, I'm a little thirsty. I go to reach for a drink out of my camelback. Boom. See my left hand go for the drink. I got one hand on the bars and it gets a little squirrely and I head right towards that tree. The front wheel hits the tree. It pops the bike up and it's just sitting there on the handlebars. They're asking me if I'm okay. Right. I was taking a sip. I'm good. So at least I got my drink. Oh. <laughs> that makes me really consider, you know, the, the hands-free drinking systems. It's starting to make a lot of sense now why I would want that. So now my bars are really twisted up. I should have banged it against a tree, but I didn't really want to stop to do that. So I just keep going with my front end all tweaked out. It's twisted up. And we're going into Stairway to Heaven. A couple riders in here. I'm looking for a clean line. Take one second to kind of scope it out. The middle line's not looking great. These guys start going around me, so I drop to this left side. And now I gotta shoot up this. I'm spinning, I'm spinning, come on. There we go. That wasn't super clean, but it wasn't a disaster either. And then we got another blockage here, so I go to the right side. I'm monkeying around here, I just stalled it. Oh no! Uh oh. Alright, a couple hang ups, a couple delays. Not the cleanest line, but it didn't hold us up too long. When there's a lot of traffic, it's really challenging to ride through things clean. Like that I could ride through if there's not anybody around, but for whatever reason, you get some people in there and it gets it goes to complete carnage quickly. So now we're up in heaven here, and this is just beautiful trail. It's kind of rough though. Like it's not smooth trail, there's a lot of rocks and bumps. So you're not really relaxing. And it, what also didn't help is that I had to keep my handlebars like six degrees to the right to be going straight because it's so twisted up after that tree incident back there. So that was kind of throwing me for a little loop, but I'm, we're keeping it moving. That's the thing is keeping progress moving. Oh, that's right. This tree right here. Look at this. Oh, I hit my head on it. I'm not even a tall rider. I can't imagine like David Knight going underneath that thing. You'd have to like... Get off the bike <laughs> to get through there. After having there, we come through some of the sections we've seen in the years past, used in the qualifying race. It's nothing 
you know, insane, but these aren't easy trails. Like, it's not just a walk in the park. There's some technical aspects to it, and it's slick, as you can see. Running a pretty conservative pace, so I'm not blitzing it through here. I'm not slacking either. We're just kind of taking it safe. I don't want to have any big casualties out here. I noticed that my breather hose came off my gas cap, so I, in my head, I feel like there's gas flashing onto my lap, but it, was, it wasn't it was happening. It just was, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, geez, that's gas flying everywhere. So once you start thinking about it, you gotta fix it. So I fixed that, but I gave up a position. So now I'm, in my head is clear. We're coasting, we're rolling right through here. After that, there were some cool little climbs over here. They threw in a lot of new hills that were really enjoyable. I like these little mounds you launch off. When you're on the dragon's back here, you gotta be careful not to fall left or right because you'll be in some big trouble. So that's the only thing. You gotta be very careful up on top of those things. And then up here, I didn't realize there was a log crossing. So I'm taking a lot. Oh! Then I gotta swing it wide. I've been using this whoop strap that monitors your heart rate. And so I'm kind of logging all my exercises and my training and stuff. And I, first of all, I'm not training where I need to be. I need to be training at much higher intensity because now like seeing me race in this event, I am nowhere even training at this type of intensity. Second of all, I am working way too hard in these qualifying races. And this, this is a reason why I'm stuck. Terrible run up to this section. And it explains why I'm so dead when I get here. Because I'm, my, I am running at 180 beats per minute average for the, this entire race. Pull this up here. I spent 39 minutes at average 180 beats per minute. So that's something I got to work on. It's fitness, really, is a lot of it. And calming myself down. Yep. Oh, I let Brian May go by. He got stuck on the left line there going out of here. I take the middle line. Come on, Zach. I ended up finishing 34th in this race. Combining race one and two, I got 33rd for the day in the qualifier. It's not great, but it's a top 50. I'm not going to the LCQ. We're going right to the main event. Come on, Mako. We'll see you there. Thank you.